Akbar. Let's actually dip in and listen in to what President Trump said just a little while back, making this important announcement of him meeting with Chairman Kim Jong-un of North Korea. The DMZ border, and I'll be meeting with Chairman Kim. I look forward to it very much. I look forward to seeing him. We've developed a very good relationship. And uh, we understand each other. I do believe he understands me, and I think I maybe understand him. And uh, sometimes that can lead to very good things. Uh, I want to start by just thanking President Moon, and very importantly, First Lady Moon, who's a very special woman, very special spirit. She loves your country very much, as does President Moon. And we had a great dinner last night together. and. Uh, spent a, a large part of the morning discussing lots of different things, including trade and, and uh, military, frankly, and many other items. Uh, but I thought I would uh, just mention that when we came here, our great ambassador, we arrived, arrived last night, our great ambassador, who's here someplace, Harry, um, was talking about the turmoil going on because of the uh, level of, uh, it was a, the vitriol, the level of vitriol that was happening between North and South, but it was North to a large extent where there was a lot of risk and a lot of threat and a lot of bad things were happening. That was before I became president. And as uh, you know, and the media knows very well, because they covered it, frankly, very well and very fairly, uh, at the beginning there was uh, a lot of anger between myself and Kim Jong-un, who, since something happened, there was a point at which it happened and all of a sudden, you get along. And I figured that when I was in Japan, where they hosted a fantastic G20, and I want to just thank Prime Minister Abe, because he really, he, they did a fantastic job, and a lot of good things came out of that, a lot of good meetings with other countries. I can tell you from the standpoint of the United States. All right, so that was U.S. President Donald Trump there stating that he will be meeting with Kim Jong-un of North Korea in just some time from now. And Ramesh, if I can come back to you, this, this is a very interesting kind of meet that, that has been in, in some ways announced pretty much at the last minute. Some have also described this as reality television style diplomacy. What do you make of that? Uh, well, with Trump, you can never uh, dismiss that possibility, Mohammed. But that said... This is his second visit to South Korea. In his first visit in 2017, he wanted to visit the DMZ, but he could not because of inclement weather. So this time, weather is proving to be lucky for Trump. Hopefully, he will get to shake hands with uh, Kim at the DMZ. But that said, if I can just uh, quote uh, you what Trump has said in the last few minutes or so, he says he and Kim have a good relationship. At the same time, there was still a long way to go to reach an agreement that would end the North's nuclear program and return for an end to sanctions. And Trump also says that he has plenty of time and that he was in no rush to right. sign a pact. Absolutely, indeed. That, that, of course, it remains to be seen as to what comes of that handshake that we expect to happen at the demilitarized zone. Thank you very much, indeed, Ramesh Ramachandran, for joining us over the phone and getting us all the inputs in terms of, of this very significant development. Remember, this was a visit that was announced by Donald Trump on, on one of the tweets that he had put out. It was, in many ways, not a lot of people expected that it will come on the heels of the G20 summit. He was coming back from Osaka where the G20 summit was held. He was, he's, of course, presently in Seoul, and then he's expected to meet with the North Korean leader in, in just some time from now. We'll be getting you all the updates. A very significant visit. It is definitely a photo opportunity, but what will be the concrete outcome of President Trump meeting with Kim Jong-un is something that remains to be seen.